Skulls and bones, the latest discoveries in a land blessed with an embarrassment of archaeological riches. There is hundreds of tombs near the temple and also there are tombs in the west side of the temple. These recently uncovered tombs west of Alexandria date back more than 2,000 years. And at this site, around an ancient Egyptian temple, or rather underneath it, archaeologists believe could be the bodies of star-crossed lovers Mark Antony and Cleopatra, most memorably portrayed by Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Antony and Cleopatra took their lives in 30 BC after a power struggle with Antony's main rival, Octavian. According to the Roman historian Plutarch, Octavian, who later became the first emperor of Rome, gave orders that Cleopatra be buried in a splendid and regal fashion, along with Mark Antony. The question is, where? It was thought they were buried in Cleopatra's palace in Alexandria, now underwater, but Dominican archaeologist Kathleen Martinez says the old theory doesn't make sense. I believe it was not possible for her to bury it there because of her political situation. It was the end of the Ptolemies, it was the end of Egypt as a free country, and she could not use the same cemetery. She needed a special place. And this could be that special place. So far, they've uncovered a variety of likenesses of Cleopatra and possibly Antony. We discovered inside the temple a head of Cleopatra. It's a beautiful head made of alabaster, and 22 coins has the face of Cleopatra. They've also found these two as yet unidentified mummies. Underneath the crumbling cloth, the mummies are covered in gold, or so we're told. What we have inside this tomb does appear to be the mummies of a man and a woman. Now, is it Mark Antony and Cleopatra? It is very difficult to say, but uh, certainly does make one think and wonder. Using ground-penetrating radar, archaeologists detected three underground cavities within the temple compound that could be tombs or burial shafts, one of which might contain the remains of Antony and Cleopatra, or might just contain more anonymous skulls and bones. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, west of Alexandria, Egypt.